KRA chicks or something. To my understanding, the BST L1 was <laughs> secure, but a bridge wasn't. Wouldn't a pulse bridge hack still be in the cards? Is this even fixable currently? Was was them turning the network off part of their secure part, or was that they turned the network off? Right. It's like I don't think blockchain should be able to just get turned off personally. I agree. So that you don't that think that that would ever happen to pulse chain? Just shut down, re 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 uh, revert the transactions. You guys with your fucking hard questions. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was, I'm, I, I'm throwing it out there waiting for the bait. give you an answer. I have, how do I phrase this? I feel that the security considerations for Pulse Chain's mm. consensus that makes strength yeah. are very, 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 very similar to Ethereum 2.0's. If that makes sense to you. It makes sense. We're forking Ethereum 2.0, not Ethereum 1.0. So you beat it out of me, you, you fucks. You, beat, you, you, you wore me down, okay? <laughs> so the, the logic was, do we have more faith in the BSC consensus, which we found flaws in, or rotating to several other options of not very well audited consensus, or the extremely well audited Ethereum 2.0 consensus. And my logic is that if you're going to make things right, doing them during a bear is a beautiful time to do it. And I think it will be quicker to use Ethereum 2.0's consensus than to properly audit and secure Pirelia, which is a version of Click, which is what has a lot of problems. And so it was maximum secure and minimum time to market because we didn't know, like, you didn't know whether the merge was going to work right. Could have not worked right. And you didn't know if they'd ever get to doing it because the delays were nearly endless. But after they did it, and after it worked right, it was the obvious choice. And so Pulse Chain will have upgrades, but be primarily um, the same consensus mechanism that Ethereum 2.0 uses, but is now called Ethereum 1, right? Like no one called, it's not, right. Ethereum 2 is now Ethereum 1 since the merge worked. So it's strong, it's, it's safer, it's faster, and any upgrades that come in the future for Ethereum, such as sharding, we will get on our chain. And we wouldn't have got had we stayed with Ethereum 1 because the, the forks would have diverged. And so it's just better. So we're, we're doing what's better and it didn't take us any extra time to do it. So it's actually good news.